Okay, this is some tuition for the song Don't Let, Let the Sun Catch You Crying by Jerry Marsden. And I'm going to show you how to play it as an instrumental. Um, I've got the capo at the first fret because this guitar is uh, in E flat. So by putting the capo there, we're in E, which will match uh, the record, um, I think. Okay, so the chords we're going to need to start with are a C major 7, which is just C without the first finger. And an F major 7. Okay, a simple F major 7, just three strings. So here's what we do. And uh, I'll try and get this hand into the frame so you can see what this hand is doing as it's going through the strings. I'm going to arpeggiate through the C major 7 by going 5, 4, 3, and 2. And then with the F major 7, I'm going to go 4, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3. And I'll do it twice. So have a listen. That's our intro. Then we establish the song by going back to the C major 7 for when the words start, the actual first verse, and we play the C major 7 through to just the second string. Don't play the first string through to the second, okay? And we do this. Then we play strings 2, 3, and 4 for the words don't let the... Then we go to an F major 7 chord, but we don't want this finger, so we only play two strings, and we play them one after the other like this. That's for the word sun. Then we have catch you, which is the third string open. Then fretted at the second fret. Then crying goes back to the C major seven and we go through to the second string. And then play the third string. That's crying. Then we have the infill, which is the F major seven. And that essentially is the first part of the song. There is an addition of two notes that I'm going to do. So watch me do it and then I'll explain what I've done. And it just fills it in. And when we're doing the instrumental, we're, we're playing sometimes chord, sometimes melody, sometimes chord and melody, and sometimes we just do infill. So listen to the extra two notes. I'll try and stop when I get to them so you can see them. There's the intro. <laughs> So what I did was when I was on the C major 7, I actually played the 4th string and the 5th as a return before I went on to the final F major 7. So just watch it once more, look at it slowly, slow it down in your settings if you want, slow the, so you, you can see it really clearly. But here it is once more, and then look out for the second post. Okay, so that's the first part. I'll put this up on YouTube. I'll record the second part and put that up. And there'll be about maybe six parts to this. And as far as I know, no one else is teaching this on YouTube. So enjoy. See you soon.